So, um, big news, um, big news that came, well, I guess you could say it's big news, and it's also, it's most, the most DC news I've ever heard, so I wanted to talk about this real quick. This is in regards to the upcoming Batgirl and Flash movie. Um, not Batgirl and Flash, like a one movie, it's the two movies together. Um, Batgirl and Flash, which I haven't really talked about, mostly because they're, they're, I wanted to wait until, like, a trailer to really get into the nit nitty gritty, but, like, this was, like, news I had to talk about, because, like I said, it's the most DC news to ever DC news. <laughs> what I mean is, is that it's been announced that, um, some new casting has been announced for Batgirl, and it will tie into The Flash, in a way. And it's a casting of Michael Keaton will be Batman, not just in Flash, but also in Batgirl. Which is weird, because J.K. Simmons is playing Gordon in that movie. And also, we have other news, other casting news that we'll talk about in a moment. We'll get to that in a moment. It, we'll get to that um, momentarily. But let's just talk about Michael Keaton is playing Batman in both Batgirl and Flash. So is that tying this together? I don't know. Because... We're having 89 Batman meeting... It, this is weird. Like, this is weird. I don't know if there, if there's, like, setup between Batgirl and Flash. Because Batgirl is still coming to um, streaming. It's going to be a streaming exclusive movie while the Flash movie is going to be... Actually, no. I think I read somewhere that Batgirl is going to go from streaming to movies. I don't know if that's, if that's changed or not. Um, so... Yeah, don't know if that's changed or not, but yeah. Um, anyway, so this bit of news breaks my brain because it's the most, like I said, this is the most DC move, um, these are going to be the most DC movies ever. Why? Because they're literally telling can, uh, continuity to go fuck itself. <laughs> as, as like a real DC comic would. Continuity, go uh, fuck off, you. We're here to tell, uh, we're here to confuse you. <laughs> And that's exactly what's going on here. Now, Jason was actually was the one who brought this to my attention, and he told me he's throwing out the idea of like what's probably happening. At least his theory is is that they're going to make Keaton's Batman um, replace Affle a Batfleck. All right, we've already got Keaton Batman, and we're going to have Pattinson Batman. All right. D like, DC has now gotten to the phase of their era where it's like, let's just throw shit on the wall and see what sticks. That's literally been the DC movie mantra over at Warner Brothers, is just throw shit at the wall, see what sticks. Not And, listen, I'm not trying to shit on Batgirl. I really am not. Like, I'm not even mad that Michael Ke more Michael Keaton Batman? Hell yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, like Mike, a Bat Keaton, more Bat Keaton. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm, I'm totally down with that. He's down with it too. Not so much that he's like, oh, I'm, you know, oh, I like comics or whatever. He's like, no, I love making movies. And I lo <laughs> like Michael Keaton just loves making movies. And apparently he just wants to do this because why not? <laughs> um, I can't fault him for that. And the cast is pretty strong in Batgirl. Um, J.K. Simmons back is Gordon. Um, I forget who they're casting for Batgirl, but I, I, I know I've seen her before and she's a really good actress. And Brendan Fraser is playing Firefly. So it's telling me, so having the casting as Firefly as the main villain is telling me this is, they're doing an adaptation of, um, of Batgirl Year One. Which is actually a really fun comic. Um, it's a really cool, it's a really cool comic and it actually had... Kill, um, both Firefly and Killer Moth as the main villain. So I'm wondering when we're going to get kill if we're going to get Killer Moth at all in this movie, or it's just going to be Firefly. But I'm fine with that because it's Brendan Fraser playing Killer Moth, and I'm totally at peace with that. <laughs> um, why not, right? I'm still also speaking of Fraser and superhero movies. I'm also still backing Fraser to be Ben Grimm in the MCU. Like, <laughs> he's perfect. Like, he's he's the perfect casting for um, The Thing. And uh, and his performance as a robot man in Doom Patrol has kind of further proven that, that he should be uh, The Thing in the next Fantastic Four movie. So, the other thing we got to talk about is that if there's been a rumor that the actress, uh, that, um, 
the actresses for Zod and Feora from Man of Steel have been seen on the side of the Flash. So having uh, Michael Shannon here, and I forget the actress who played um, Feora, but she she that's that's fascinating but again it's flashpoint so it stand to reason if we're having a super woman here it would make it would probably be like zod fought her instead so all right that's that's cool i'm this is just i'm just all around confused by all of this but like in a fun way like it's uh, i'm la i laughed when i heard that when jason explained to me that Keaton was going to be Batman in Batgirl and then in Flash, which was supposed to be a retcon of everything and bring back like a new, like a new status quo for DC Comics. And I was like, I laughed because it's like I said, the most DC, these are the most DC movies I have ever seen because they are literally telling continuity to fuck off. Um, so yeah, I'm... It's cool. It's it's kind of fun. It's this. It's fun, and I don't know. Like they've clearly, like I said earlier, is that Warner Brothers has just gone to the phase of throw shit at the wall and see what happens. That's that's literally what we're dealing with here in these films. Um, but I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna wait for a trailer to further talk about them. So we'll see what happens. We'll we'll see. But for right now, um. I just think this is hysterical. I honestly think this is uh, this is pretty hysterical. But you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Batgirl, of uh, Michael Keaton playing Batgirl, uh, Batman, I almost said Batgirl, Batman in um, both Flash and Batgirl? And also, what do you guys think of the possibility of Zod and Feyora coming back in the Flash movie? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Uh, just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.